the Atlas Post, your second stimulus check for $1,200. Well, how much stimulus check money could you get or stimulus funds could you get? There are some possibilities. So it all depends on what gets passed, the Hills Act or the Heroes Act, or if something in between can be agreed upon. There are just a few differences. And if Congress passed the proposed Hills Act, will you get the full $1,200? So here are the differences. The Heroes Act, which passed in May, is with the House with a $3 trillion budget. The Hills Act is the proposal by the Senate, just released a few days, actually, a couple days ago, um, is a proposal by the Senate with a $1 trillion budget. The Hills Act is for Health Economic Assistance liability, protection, and schools. The Hills Act by the Republicans includes $500 for dependents regardless of age, which includes children and adults you claim when you file taxes. The Heroes Act is the proposal passed by the House Democrats, which includes $1,200 per person, including children and dependents, for a maximum of five family members and a maximum of $6,000 per household. Can you believe that? $6,000 per household. Non-U.S. citizens who file taxes, tax returns, pay taxes, and have an individual taxpayer identification number instead of a Social Security number would also qualify. The calculations can be tricky and depend on aspects of your 2019 taxes, such as your adjusted gross income, whether you filed a single, married, or head of household. Though we can't say for sure what the figures will be Following the IRS's calculation, here's a handy calculator by the Washington Post put together for the first stimulus check, which may give you some idea. So first of all, the first question is, did you file your 2019 taxes? Hopefully by now you have or you've applied for an extension. Next is your filing status, single, head of household, or married. And your adjusted gross income for 2018 or 2019. If you're single, that's $80,000. If you filed your 2019 taxes, or if you're head of household, $140,000. If you're married, totals are $130,000. So we won't know for sure exactly what you qualify until the bill actually, or the proposal gets passed. But here is a calculation done by the Washington Post that shows you some stimulus check calculations. It does compare it for the original stimulus check, whether you filed taxes, your 2019, your filing status, whether you're single, head of household, or married, your adjusted gross income, and it does include dependents under 17, CARES Act, or dependents over 17 for the Hills Act. Anyway, both of these are just scenarios. The actual amount depends on what actually ends up getting passed. Hopefully, a decision can be made by the August 7th deadline on a stimulus package. Currently, the House Democrats and Senate Republicans are far apart, but do agree that Americans need it and are striving to get it accomplished before their month-long recess when they go home and try to get re-elected. If the House and Senate agree and President Donald Trump signs the bill into law by August 10th, we could see a stimulus payment sent out by the week of August 24th, via direct deposit and or EI. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. We will have much more to bring to you as they hammer out more details in the stimulus program. Thanks for supporting us, the Atlas Post, and you can find us on Patreon or buy me a coffee. Also, hopefully you found this valuable and helpful. Please share it with others, like it, make some comments, check out our playlist and subscribe for the latest updates. Tap into your news with the Atlas Post and have a joyful day.